What's going on everyone? My name is Josh Soros and welcome to my channel. Today we are here at this spot I've been anticipating for a long time. We're here at one of the biggest mansions in all of Ontario and it's left abandoned. So let's go check this place out. Welcome to Peter Grant Mansion. The 65,000 square foot abandoned mansion was built for the 87th richest person in Canada named Peter Grant, president of Grant Forestry Products. Construction began in 2005 and was to be used as Peter's home and a corporate offices for his family. The mansion featured an art gallery, waterfalls, golf course, squash court, two elevators, an indoor and outdoor pool, and even a 30-foot fireplace. Listed in 2010 for $25 million, the mansion met its demise due to the 2008 Canadian recession that left it abandoned with over $1 million in materials left there to be reclaimed by the earth. Look at this place, guys. It's huge. It's pouring on my, my camera right now. So I gotta get over. This place is crazy, though. I know, yeah. It's definitely worth the six hour drive that I just drove. I'm probably gonna be back here too one day. This is like a little spot that the cars would drive in. Like kind of like valet service, like that's crazy guys. What water would be in here. All the rocks, design. Seems like people have destroyed most of the windows here, but it is what it is. Okay, we are heading in one of the doors. Like look at this quick. The water goes under the house. This water that thing that they have set up goes under the house. So you can see the waterfall from inside. That's crazy. Look at the floors in here too, guys. This place has to be worth over $20 million. And it's just left here abandoned. I honestly don't even know where to start, but let's just go this way first. Yeah, I just remembered that too. I know. Should have brought our flashlights. Alright guys, so we're back in here now. Had to run out and grab my flashlights. There's a downstairs and an upstairs. So we're just going to do explore. Looks like someone's telling someone to go this way with the arrows on the... Look at that, eh? So you know you got money. Yeah. yeah, this place is crazy, guys. Oh yeah, this ends right here. Doesn't go any further, okay. So we have to go back the other way. A little room, yeah. Or something now. It's the main floor still, so I don't know if the bedrooms would be here. Maybe. That just scared me, guys. I didn't know why that was moving, but we just walked through here. It's a beautiful spot, though. Just hoping we have the place to ourselves. If not, it's okay, obviously, but let's head this way. Look at this, be careful, but. Look at that drop, guys. Scary stuff. Look at the view, though. Holy moly, the view's crazy though, guys. I just got a little sneak peek of the view. And holy moly. Look at this view, guys. Oh, it's so dirty, it's so hard to see, but it's just gorgeous. Let's see if this is a little cleaner here. Yeah, the windows are so dirty, it's hard to show you through them, but the view is absolutely gorgeous in this place. Whoa. What a crazy place. So let's just do the main floor first. Then we'll work on the basement. Yeah, it's okay. Mm. 
And check out this spot here. Another elevator shaft. Oh, it's a secret staircase going up. More rooms. We're in these rooms. Oh, the floor is all wet in here. Just like washrooms, I think, honestly. I don't know if this place was going to be like a mansion for someone to own, because these are like public washrooms here. Like, check, go walk in there. It's like a public washroom. It's so oh. odd. Yeah, it's so odd to me. Unless, like, they were like, this is a party house and they were having people over all the time, you know? We'll go upstairs after, guys. That'll probably be in part two, honestly. We're just going to do our best to explore the whole main floor for you guys in the basement for this video. Then we'll move upstairs for the next ones. So another front door here. Beautiful. The place is just huge. Hmm? Yeah, it's kind of scary, yeah. Yeah, it does. This was the garage. Wow. Look at this garage. Crazy, guys. Look at this place, guys. It's crazy. It's all soaked in there, so I can't make my way through that. But you guys can pretty much see the whole thing. And it's just huge. This would probably be like a eight car garage probably honestly like yeah probably like it's crazy there's even like a little place for them to work on their cars like that's insane let's go this way actually i didn't see this over here oh look at all the water coming in look at this oh it's just wood i thought it was marble Look at this, guys. Spiral staircase going all the way through the place. Just so you guys can see how far down it goes. And how far up it goes. Like, this place is massive, guys. So we explored pretty much the whole first floor. Like, I don't know. Like, I'll... Let's keep walking around just to make sure. I don't want to miss anything in this amazing place, guys. Oh, just another door. We walked over to see that before. So I guess uh, downstairs first. Let's go downstairs first. Whoa, indoor pool. Look at this, guys. bar, indoor pool, like a party room. This is insane. Like this place must have been worth so much, so much money. It's insane. Let's just see. Let's just walk around and see what we could find down here. I just heard like a bang. Whoa, look at that. That's like a jacuzzi. That's nuts, man. This pool's huge, too. This is like the size of my house. This is the pool. It's insane. It's coming down hard out there, guys. I don't know if you could see that, but it is just pouring. And we're on the lake, too, so the water's just coming in from the lake. Oh, I just got poured on from the upstairs. We're back at the other stairs, so maybe the basement isn't as big as the, uh... Was there? There's a hallway here? This is just like washrooms, too. We'll check it out for you guys, of course. Yeah, I think these are just washrooms. The pool change rooms and stuff. 
We'll head up those uh, circle stairs. Is there okay? Oh, there's a duck behind me. So this is the the bar area, guys. Overlooking the the pool and everything. That's insane. Look at the view from the pool too. Just outdoors. Oh, watch out! There's a hole there. This way. I think this is just the mechanical part of the house. But we'll check it, because why not, right? Oh yeah, it definitely is. More stairs up. Oh yeah, guys. Look at how much ACs they need just to run this place. It's crazy, the water's just coming in from up there. Just, just the storage room, guys, with all the electrical panels and everything like that. So we'll make our way up these stairs, we may as well. Different way up, maybe we'll enter a new part that we haven't seen yet, right? Oh, oh, this is the garage. Okay, so this is where that other part led to. We're gonna have to walk through the water now, but it's okay. It's not too bad, honestly. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was. Over here is wet, but right over here is dry, as you can see. Oops, it's slippery, be careful. Yeah, guys, we're gonna make our way upstairs now. Make sure there's nothing else on the main floor I haven't shown. Another staircase back at the spiral. Getting right into it. This place is just massive. Little lookout spot. As you can see the view, it's just water. It's just nuts. It's amazing, honestly. Literally looks like we're on the water. Little pier for them with lights on it. It's insane, guys. Beautiful. Well, let's continue exploring. I just had to show you guys that view, it's crazy. So let's see this. I'm assuming these floors are gonna be the bedrooms and uh, maybe another kitchen and stuff like that. Smaller room in here. More stairs to go down. This place has a lot of stairs, guys. I guess when it's a place like this, you're not gonna be running around your house just to get down and upstairs, right? Just gotta build multiple. So this is back where we started from. There's a whole another half. This is another room. This place is insane. I don't know what this would be. Maybe offices? I'm not sure. Like, part of me literally thinks, guys, that this place was supposed to be, like, a car dealership or something. Like, just by the layout of it, it reminds me so much of car dealerships, but... Online, it says that it was a mansion to be owned and lived in 
at one point. 2008. Oh yeah? Let's see this right here. 2006 phone book. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it must have been either a company project, like a, a big um, home builder company building this just to show that they could build mansions and they were going to sell it, but then they went bankrupt as they were doing it, is what I think. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I wish there was more information. And if I could find more information, guys, you guys are going to hear it at the beginning of the video. So if I don't have a little info history lesson, it's because the place doesn't have much for me to tell you guys. But I wish it did, honestly. This is the elevator shaft. Up and down. All right. This way. Oh. That's where the elevator door is. Okay. I guess since we made our way all the way around the second floor, we will head up to the top, top floor, which is actually terrifying. Okay, let's just try. Let's just try. We'll see what, let's see what's going on. That's, oh, this is where the birds live. I'll cut that out, guys, but we just saw a dead animal up here. You can see this just for the view up here. Just look at the view, guys. Insane. Oh, look at that spider on the outside. Holy moly. Okay, we're gonna make our way out of this massive house now, guys. See if we get lost on the way out. Yeah, guys. Oh, there's another one, oh no. Guys, there's just dead birds everywhere up there. Literally everywhere. Oh, that's gross. It smelled so bad up there too. It smelled like a, like a chicken coop. Let's see, I guess back down this way. Okay, we're back on the main floor, guys. So I'm assuming that this used to be the kitchen or something. I'm not a million percent sure, but I'm just guessing because of the overlook and everything like that. Oh, walking through a puddle without realizing, that's always good. Yeah, guys, like this place is insane. What a find, eh? What a find. I'm so happy that I made it out here. The drive sucked six hours, but uh, it was worth it, that's for sure. Definitely worth it to make it out here and show you guys this. Just beautiful. I'm gonna go try to check out this park because I don't think I checked out this spot yet. Just watch out for that, okay, Dinah? The drop. What's down here? Like this, this is crazy guys. I just, I keep getting taken back by just the beauty of it. Like I can just imagine what this place would be in its prime. I gotta show you guys the view quick. Look at this fireplace here. Beautiful. Okay, hold on. Look at 
to you guys. Waterfalls. It's just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Obviously it's pouring out, but if it was nice and sunny, you would see just how beautiful this place really is. Okay. Yeah, guys, it's crazy. Just crazy. So we're gonna head back in, and we're probably honestly gonna be pretty close to ending this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the two-part series of this place. This place was uh, quite difficult for me to get out to and uh, quite the spot really. So if you guys could do me a favor and uh, smack that like button for me. Just we're, we're risking a lot coming out here so we really appreciate it. It would really help out a lot. And uh, yeah, if you could subscribe as well so you could get in the loop of uh, more videos, that'd be awesome as well. And you could see us uh, see more videos from me in the future. All right, guys, and just like that, we got another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this this series, this beautiful place. As you can hear, the thunder's rolling in. We're, we're getting stormed out, so we got to get out of here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And if you did, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. All three of those things help me out with my algorithm on YouTube to get these videos out to more people and inspire some more people to get out and do what they love. So, so as always, guys, I love you. Take care and peace.